Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time visitor to my channel, welcome. I do hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing by hitting the red button down below. The topic for today's video is going to be a fun one. It is a fashion file unboxing. If you recall a couple weeks ago, I had a different fashion file unboxing for the Louis Vuitton compact origami wallet. And I will actually link that down below in case you want to watch it because fashion file unboxings are always so much fun. But that wallet was a great acquisition on my end. I love it. It's fun and unique interior. For it being such a small wallet, it held quite a lot. And I was just overall super, super pleased with that purchase. When I got off camera and further confirmed its capacity and functionality and just overall happiness with the look of the wallet, I thought to myself, you know, if and when the full size version of this wallet pops up on the resale market, if the price is good and the condition is solid, I want it. Well, I must have put out those good vibes pretty strongly because the following week, Fashion File had that wallet up for sale. The price was excellent. It was more than 50% off, but the signs of wear that the wallet had based on their description were a little too much for my liking, I guess you could say. I normally prefer to purchase an item that's as close to new as possible. And it, from the sounds and looks of it online, this wallet wasn't in that kind of condition that I would like. But when I called Fashion File and spoke with a representative who pulled the wallet and was able to kind of talk me through the signs of wear and tear, I felt like everything that was listed online kind of fell into one of three buckets. The first one being that the wear and tear was not actually wear and tear. And I will explain that once we unbox this wallet. Second, it was something that I could possibly fix myself and make it feel more new. Or third, it was a sign of wear and tear that was kind of going to be inevitable with the wallet regardless. And that wear and tear was so early on in the process that it would be negligible and not bothersome. And that when the time came that the wear and tear kind of reached that point, like, oh, it's not starting to look good. We got to we gotta look into possibly getting this fixed or, or changing the wallet altogether. They were wear and tear that could actually be fixed either by Louis Vuitton or by a third party that actually deals with rehabbing pieces that have kind of gotten old over time and then just bring them back to life. So factoring in all that, and obviously Fashion Files excellent return policy of 30 days, the fact that it's free shipping and free returns, I figured, you know what, let me get this wallet home. Let me see it for myself in person. If I like it, great. I scored a wallet for an amazing price. And if not, I'll send it back. No harm, no foul. So. I ended up purchasing it. It arrived just now and I cannot wait to open it. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's jump right in. As always, they provide us with a lovely fashion file, nail file that you see right here. We've got the fun confetti. We've got the thank you card. the advertisement that Fashion File has paired up with Neiman Marcus. And then we've got the envelope here that's got the receipt and the um, we want your bag back type advertisements as well. Let me get into it here real quick and show you. Let's get this confetti out here. So this is the receipt for the item. This is telling you that it's certified authentic and that if for whatever reason it is deemed not authentic that you would get your money back. The usual. You see right there, so let's grab these and put them aside. used is the new new sticker which i absolutely love i really i just adore that saying it's so clever so exciting. okay so here it is in the box oh and then right here is their barcode for it to you know inventory it on their end when they acquire and sell items. And this one obviously came with the box and it said that it came with the dust bag as well. But even though it comes with its original dust bag, Fashion File always includes their own, as you see right here. So 
so let's grab this out of there. And there's the Louis Vuitton dust bag right there. So let's set this aside. Oh my God, I have not looked. I have not peeked before filming this right now. So I'm like excited. Fashion file dust bag. All right, I can see the top of it. Okay. Look at that. Look at this thing of beauty. And as always, they have it attached back here. Remove the tag and own the bag. And their own tags right there. The certificate of authenticity. And then again, their um, barcode and the similar kind of information that was on the box for their inventory purposes. So let me just take a quick look. Okay, oh, it feels so good. This is like old school, good canvas, like soft but durable. Um, wow, the canvas looks amazing. Now let me, I could probably just sit here oogling it all day, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Let's, let's, let's stay on point here. So the first sign of wear and tear that I'm gonna show you and that was mentioned was the fact that this snap button right here is starting to turn a bit silver in the middle and I hope I'm able to catch that for you. It might not show up, but in person you can see that right in the center there it has turned a little bit silver and that it obviously has some scratches, but this was one of the signs of wear and tear that, you know, I figured I could live with because that can happen and you know it's not like there's a huge cut in the canvas or anything. It's very it's very minuscule in the whole grand scheme of things. And um if and when this were to get really bad and turn like silver entirely, this is something that I can send out to a third party to have them kind of re, not reglaze it, but recolor it back to gold and make it look good. A friend of mine told me that Louis Vuitton could change the snap as well. So I have not inquired about that personally, but apparently that is an option as well. So I figured, you know what, I can look past that. This is a great piece if, you know, that's the worst of my concerns as far as the snap goes. The other sign of wear and tear, and this is the one that I told you I don't think is actual wear and tear, they said that the wallet is warped or bent. And now when I asked the representative, because the picture did not show any kind of bending or warpness to the wallet, I was like, well, what are you talking about? Can you explain this? And she said that when you set the wallet down on a table like so, this side of the wallet feels closer to the table than this side. Well, my, my brain kicked in and I thought, that's not a sign of wear and tear. The reason it does that is because you've got the zipper pull on this side here. So obviously when you set it down on a table because this side has a zipper pull and this side does not, this side is going to look like it's sitting closer to the table because it doesn't have the zipper pull. Hey, I appreciate them for trying to, to nitpick and you know outline every kind of flaw or what they thought was a flaw, but you know, even when I was on the phone with the representative, I told her, mm, I don't think that's wear and tear. I think that's a zipper pull. That's why you're telling me it looks like it's sitting lower on this side. It's because this side has a zipper pull. This side does not. So precisely what I thought. I don't see any warped or bent nature to the wallet. It looks very straight all the way around. Yeah, there's no issues. Now let's unzip it over here. The interior is beautiful. It's not peeling. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Look at that, nothing. There isn't even like residue from coins. Love this wallet so far. Oh my gosh, and I didn't even know it opens here. There's a slot here too. Okay, I'm getting way too happy about this purchase. And then of course, right over here, this opens and you've got another area. Let's look at this. Now here, you're going to start to see some of the wear and tear that was the concerning part for me, but also the part that I felt I could fix. And it is some scratches to the canvas. I hope they come up, but you can see a little bit. See that? You know, like, again, in the grand scheme of things, this is all on the inside. So if it personally bothered me, it would be one thing. But, you know, to the outside average Joe, you're not gonna see that, so it's not that big of a deal. But like I said, oh, look at that. I wonder how long that's been. Huh. Oh, this is what happens when you're super excited about a wallet. Um, <laughs> 
anyway, so that was one of the things that I felt like I could fix. And you're probably thinking, well, how? Now, don't don't yell at me if you don't like what I'm about to say, but I try to kind of think it's outside the box and think of ways to kind of make things work. And so I thought, why not find some paint that matches this color and I can pull out one of my really fine paint brushes and just kind of do some pointillism and just color it in is that is that so bad i i think that's a pretty smart idea. i think it's pretty genius to be honest with you but um i found at my local craft place this color and i think it's a pretty solid match what do you think i think if i just use a really fine brush just put just the slightest amount on the tip of the brush and just kind of dot it just to kind of again just color it in you know the the canvas is not one solid color it's pebbled so there's some light there's some dark there's variety as far as the color goes so I figured I could kind of do it and get away with it and mask the overall look of the color it's not gonna it's you know it's not one fluid um, color throughout so it would it would blend in quite nicely you know seeing it in person I think I could do it I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Has, has anyone gotten crafty like this with scratches? Have you done something? Perhaps share it with me down below. I would love to hear some tips. Um, but yeah, so let me put this aside and continue on in exploring the wallet. It's got, is it four here? Yeah, I think four. No, two. Two card slots here these two and then this is another long slot so I mean we haven't even cracked this wallet open yet and it's full of compartments it's I love organization so much and so the scratches that we saw here are also present on the inside so let's take a look together gosh this is such this is such a beautiful I just I love how unique this wallet is it's just great Actually, before I get into the scratches, I'm going to show you the interior layout. We've got four credit card compartments on either side here, two on either side up here for a total of 12 on the inside, plus two on the outside for a total of 14 card slots, two bill compartments right here, in addition to another compartment out here that we saw, the zip compartment back here, the other compartment out here and then another bill compartment right here so organization galore there you go see the interior and there you can see the scratches yeah they're on both sides like let me pull it up close for you, you can see that on either side so yeah so that was the wear and tear that really concerned me the most to be honest with you and um I don't know I mean I think I'm going to take some time off camera and really think about it because obviously this wasn't like a five dollar purchase I want to make sure that I feel like a I could do it and b I could be okay with the outcome so I will certainly keep you posted and if I do end up taking the plunge to kind of fix it on my own I'll be sure to um share with you the end result because I think it would be something fun to share and perhaps inspire other people that maybe have some similar wear and tear with their own wallet. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Ah, there was another concern of the uh, glazing starting to crack and this was something that I felt was going to be inevitable with a wallet that has a curvature like this. So I didn't consider it a deal breaker per se because it was going to happen whether I had bought it brand new or secondhand like I did right now. And going in line with the snap right here, that is something that could be reglazed and repaired. So let me take a look at that. The pictures online showed hardly any indication of the glazing and and of the glazing cracking. And the woman said it was so minimal. And I can see it in person, but Again, it, it really is so minimal. It might not even catch on the camera. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's really super, super slight. And it's, and it's something that's going to happen. You know, the, the wallet's bending there. So, of course, it's going to start to crack over time. You know, it's, it's kind of the nature of the beast. So, I 
I think I'm okay with it, really. I mean, to, to acquire a wallet for over 50% off for some minimal, inevitable cracking at, at the glazing. And as far as my understanding, it's something that can be redone or reglazed at a later time. Obviously, I will look into that and know that for sure before, you know, my 30 days are up as far as the return policy is concerned. But I think at the end of the day, the the main concern and the main deciding factor on keeping this wallet or not is going to deal with the scratches. I'm just going to have to think long and hard about A, like I said, can I fix it? B, will I be happy with what I see? Or C, if not, am I okay with it as is given the price and the other conditions you know of the wallet as far as the snap and as far as the the cracking at the, at the glazing is concerned here so to be determined i will i will like i said i'll think about it and i will share with you what i end up doing if i end up keeping it obviously i'm not going to create a video to be like oh by the way i returned it because i've already explained to you why i'd be returning it if that's the case but if i do keep it i will certainly show you um if i end up taking the plunge on trying to be crafty and make the scratches kind of fade and blend into the canvas over here. So that is it for this video. Hopefully I didn't ramble too long and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.